Hey, how's it going, my super friends? I am Emma Acebo. Thanks for watching the video and welcome to the second video in this Thor week. Every day in this week, I'm going to be uploading a Thor related video and today the focus is on the villains. My top five Thor villains, they don't necessarily have to be the most powerful, but these are my favorite. Cool stories, cool personalities and lore. So let's start with number five, Ares. Man, he's a great god. He's a god of war. Ares, a big ass strong dude, he first appeared in the Thor series in issue 129. Of course he was drawn really weird, doesn't look like the Ares we know, but man, he was strong. He often squared off, not only with Thor, but with Hercules, using the battle axe and the super Olympian durability. This guy is a fucking tank, he can take punches and give them. I mean, Hercules and Thor had to team up to defeat this guy, that's how strong he is. Ares was recruited to Iron Man's side in Civil War, in the comics of course, because his strength and power. He was like Thor and Wolverine combined, man. Super strong guy. He also joined Norman Osborn's Dark Avengers alongside other villains pretending to be heroes like Bullseye and, and Moonstar pretending to be Miss Marvel. I love a good mythological hero versus another god, I just love that lore and Ares. It's a cool, strong motherfucker, but don't put him against Sentry because we know how that's gonna end up. <laughs> Number four, we got Malekith. This dark elf is from the evil realm of Svartalheim. He is Malekith the Accursed and he is a mage. He took the throne from his homeworld by force and violence. He often enlists help, you know, like the other foes of Thor, like Surtur and Loki, in order to combat the God of Thunder. But the Dark Elves respect them because their culture encourages fear and brutality. And Malekith, man, this guy is violent. In the comics, he led this Dark Council with Lofi, Julik the Troll, and the Minotaur. He cut off Thor Odinson's arm with his own axe. <laughs> this, guy is, this guy is bonkers. And of course, in the MCU, he was portrayed by Christopher Eccleston. His desire for revenge against the Asgardians brought him to the Aether, one of the Infinity Gems. And this guy is just bad news. He's a great leader, he is cunning, he is wise, he's just a really cool villain. And I like it. Number three, of course, this guy had to be on the list, Loki. What would a list of Thor's greatest villains be without this guy, the, the trickster god himself, man? And what would Thor be without Loki? I mean, the, the two have famously been at odds since the beginning. Loki wields the magic and the tricks to combat Thor and his strength. However, this guy is a frost giant heritage, he descended from Lofi, the giant king, and Loki has taken many forms over the years, including the infamous Lady Loki self and as young child. In the films, he is portrayed by Tom Hiddleston. He is a constant foe of not only Thor, but the Avengers as well. I like Loki so much because he uses a lot of trickery, man. Deceit. You can't trust this guy. And he swears his days of trickery are behind him in the comics. But given his past, I wouldn't trust him, and Thor doesn't either. In number two, we got one of the greatest romances in the Marvel Universe, which is Scourge and the Moor the Enchantress. And at first, the Scourge seemed like a pawn for Amora to exploit, but in recent years it has been revealed that Amora had deep feelings for Scourge, the only man who ever was truly devoted to her. The Enchantress is every bit as cunning as Loki and would be a perfect foil for him. With Thor, Jane Foster, Lady Sif, and Amora's sister, who is Lorelei, it's just a lot of drama, dude, to resist. It could be an amazing triangle or polygon of love. There's a lot. Amora is a founding member of the Masters of Evil, and it's about time Marvel focuses the energies on a worthy female adversary. We haven't seen that. It would be great to see magics and trickery and females to be one of the main villains of these movies. And it can be argued that she is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, villainess in the whole Marvel Universe. And it's time the MCU or comics fell under her spell. And number one, we got the fire demon himself, Surtur. Now, I didn't want to include the villains from my previous video because, come on, I already talked about them. But Surtur is just the best, dude. He's based on Norse mythology, the fire demon, Thor's foe, whose presence signals the coming of Ragnarok, the end of times. He comes from the fiery realm of Muspelheim and he wields a giant sword called Twilight. It manipulates energies opens holes between dimensions, I mean, it was his sword's power that once allowed Loki to transform Thor into a frog <laughs> for a brief time. 
and we know his power is increased by the artifact known as the Eternal Flame, which can set the Twilight Sword on fire. He is over 1000 feet tall and, is, and his weakness is extremely cold temperatures and environments. Also considered one of the oldest beings in the universe, along with the Frost Giant, Ymir. Surtur is crazy OP, man. It takes Odin to be at full power, to finish in a standstill, or both of them defeated. That's how strong Surtur is. And I have to give a quick mention, a special shout out to Gore the God Butcher. Again, I mentioned him in my previous video. This guy is just crazy bonkers. He's not on my list because I didn't want to include him because I talked about him already. But man, he was introduced in 2013, created by Jason Aaron and Esad Ribic. Gore is just vile. He was devoted to the destruction of all gods, an alien serial killer. The praise on gods. He has an amazing backstory. It's just too much, man. Gore is really good, and you should go check out his comics, The God of Thunder. Thor, God of Thunder, and you're gonna see Gore. Amazing. Thanks for watching my top villains for Thor, guys. I am Emoase. Well, if you enjoyed, please click the like button. Share the video with some friends. Stay tuned for more Thor Week. New video tomorrow. I'm not gonna give you any hints. It's gonna be a surprise. Follow me on my social media. I'm gonna be posting shit about it, about videos and stuff. Twitter, Instagram, Memo Acebo, subscribe to see more, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.